The Super Meteor 650 by Royal Enfield stands out as a milestone in the world of motorcycles, representing a harmonious blend of classic design, impressive performance, and exceptional craftsmanship. This bike not only pays homage to Royal Enfield's iconic cruisers like the 1952 Meteor and 1956 Super Meteor, but also signals the brand's evolution and future direction. With its 648 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine, the Super Meteor maintains the beloved thumpy character found in the INT650 and Continental GT650 models. Furthermore, its impeccable fit and finish establish a new benchmark for Royal Enfield. Overview of the 2023 Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 Designed as a retro-styled middleweight cruiser, the Super Meteor 650 seamlessly combines accessibility with functionality, offering a relaxed riding posture. Despite an attractive starting MSRP of $6,999, this cruiser is far from cheap in terms of quality. Anchored by Royal Enfield's parallel twin, the Super Meteor competes in the middleweight cruiser category against rivals like the Kawasaki Vulcan S and the Honda Shadow Line. While it may have a smaller displacement than the discontinued Harley-Davidson 883 Sportster, it emerges as a strong contender to fill the void left by the iconic American V-Twin. The single overhead cam SHC, fuel-injected engine boasts a 78.0 by 67.8 mm bore and stroke for valves per cylinder and a 9.5 to 1 compression ratio. With a claimed output of 46.4 horsepower and 38.6 pound, FT, of torque, the Super Meteor's power plant demonstrates its prowess. Although the bike features a different intake and exhaust system compared to the INT650, Royal Enfield expects similar performance results, building on the success of its predecessor. The Super Meteor introduces a novel chassis crafted by the renowned British specialists, Harris Performance, under Royal Enfield's ownership since 2015. The tubular steel frame contributes to a low center of gravity and a comfortable 29.1-inch seat height. With a rake of 27.6 degrees and a trail of 4.7 inches, the Super Meteor embraces a more relaxed stance compared to the Continental GT and INT650, with a wheelbase of 59.1 inches. For inches longer than the Connie slash INT, this configuration enhances stability, creating additional space for a passenger. The bike's 100-70-19 front and 150-80-16 rear tires, mounted on tubeless alloy rims, further underscore its commitment to both style and performance. The Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650 boasts a non-adjustable 43mm show a big piston inverted fork, a first for the company, providing 4.7 inches of travel. Paired with twin shocks featuring 5-step adjustable preload, this setup offers 4.0 inches of travel. Emphasizing its credentials as a long-distance cruiser, the Super Meteor incorporates tubeless alloy rims and a center stand. For the Celestial variant, priced at $7,499, additional touring features such as a windscreen, deluxe touring seat, and pillion backrest are included. Making the Super Meteor 650 a custom fit for cruiser touring despite its middleweight class. In terms of safety features, the Super Meteor offers non-switchable ABS, maintaining a classic riding experience without additional electronic interventions or ride modes. The retro-themed instrument panel combines an analog speedometer with a digital information screen, displaying a fuel gauge, gear position indicator, trip meters, and a clock. The bike also includes Royal Enfield's Tripper Turn-by-Turn -turn Navigation Pod, accessible via Bluetooth through a smartphone. Enhancing the analog connection between rider and machine is a mechanical throttle cable. The Super Meteor 650 comes in three variants, Astral $6,999, Interstellar $7,299, and Celestial $7,499. The Astral model is available in green, black, and blue, while the Interstellar features a two-tone paint scheme in green or gray. The Celestial variant, in Celestial Red or Celestial Blue, includes a windscreen, deluxe touring seat, and pillion backrest. All variants share the iconic 4.2-gallon teardrop fuel tank with a metal gas cap and standard LED lighting. 
Royal Enfield offers a range of genuine motorcycle accessories for the Super Meteor 650, including the windscreen, deluxe touring seat, pillion backrest, as well as engine guards, foot pegs, mirrors, and LED turn indicators. On the road, the Super Meteor 650 impresses with its quality. The fit and finish, akin to Triumph's renowned detailing, are evident from the cockpit. The deep and blemish-free sparkle paint adds to its allure. The controls feature plated aluminum accents, and the levers are adjustable. Starting to 648 cubic centimeters parallel twin reveals a soft rumble, and the cable-actuated clutch offers a great feel with a manageable engagement range. The engine produces ample usable torque at lower RPMs, facilitating easy riding in higher gears without sacrificing performance. Even at speeds exceeding 90 miles per hour, the Super Meteor 650 maintains a smooth and powerful performance without uncomfortable buzzing. As we departed Dallas, making our way onto the highway, the Super Meteor showcased its impressive ability to navigate through the city in any gear. Accelerating from a stoplight, I could effortlessly shift up to fourth gear and maintain a smooth cruise at speeds as low as 20 miles per hour. The gearbox transitions swiftly and decisively, whether using the clutch or not. Navigating the urban expanse of Dallas, the suspension delivered a stable and precise ride. Despite the non-adjustable suspension settings, with preload adjustment on the twin shocks, the firmness allowed the bike to maintain a neutral ride, resisting any destabilizing effects from external forces. Accelerating or braking did not induce any wallowing or seesawing in the Super Meteor 650. The 43mm show a big piston fork provided effective support over uneven surfaces, offering substantial bottoming resistance. However, at the rear, the twin shocks were oversprung for a middleweight cruiser. The stiff spring rate caused the shock to ride up in the stroke, particularly when set on the lowest preload setting. Unexpected bumps in the road could be jarring, potentially lifting my 125-pound frame from the seat. While some might find this discomforting, I personally prefer a stiffer setup over a softer one. The handling was relaxed and neutral, allowing for easy maneuvering. Applying an aggressive input into the wide handlebar could swiftly alter the motorcycle's trajectory if needed. Although we couldn't find twisty roads near Dallas, the Super Meteor 650 confidently leaned into freeway on-ramps, maintaining its lean angle comfortably. Initiating and holding the lean angle with throttle control before accelerating out of corners proved seamless. If faced with winding roads, the Super Meteor would handle them with grace. On straight stretches, the Super Meteor 650's open rider triangle provided a comfortable cruising experience for extended miles. The forward controls, low seat, and wide handlebar positioned the rider in a classic cruiser stance. Relax, put your feet up, and enjoy the ride. The only missing element for smoother cross-country travel on this cruiser is cruise control. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.